Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to have a little bit of a chat about how and why I tab my books when I'm reading. If you've been following my weekly wrap ups for the last couple of weeks, you'll have noticed that I've gotten back into tabbing my books as I'm reading them and they become sort of an assortment of rainbow colored sticky notes by the end of the week. This was a process that I tried a little bit last year. When I first started marking my pages, I focused on quotes that I really liked and I was just using whatever I had handy. And that was okay for a little while last year. And then I sort of stopped doing it because it, it slowed down my reading style and I was just, I'd forget and I wouldn't have the sticky notes handy and all that sort of thing. I let it go for a couple of months. And then about a month ago, I think I saw one of Book Roast's videos on how she uses tabs in her reading. And it really re-inspired me to get back into it. And I've also since then seen some follow-up videos from other people on tabbing their books. And I thought, no, I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to give it a really good shot. And I'm going to be a little bit more deliberate in how I mark my books. First up, I would love to be one of those people who actually writes in the margins of their, their books. I don't see anything wrong with that because a book is a part of you. And if you have really strong feelings about it, you should be able to write in the margins, draw in the margins, do whatever you like. I have no issue with people who turn the corners on their books. Yes, okay, I might be one of them. And I know that people may think that we're heathens for doing that. But at the same time, it's your book. And books should, in my opinion, just my opinion, books should feel like they look and feel like they've been loved. So as much as they are a decorative item, I also, I don't care about broken spines. I don't care about turned down pages. I don't care about writing in the margins. You do what you're comfortable doing with your books. Okay, so what I have done is I have now I've got a collection of these transparent page flags. I got these in the local $2 store. I think they're like $2.50 and you get two sets of each color. So the stacks of them. And I sat down and I decided what it was that I wanted to be marking in the book. And for my own reference, because I forget things routinely, I've written down what each color represents. Obviously I use the green the most because I'm running out of those. But what I decided to go for was I'm using the pink tabs for quotes that I really like. So if I come across a quote from a character or even just a narrative quote that I thought was really interesting, I mark it in pink. The good thing about these transparent tabs is you can see through them. So if you go back to the book, you are not bogged down by having to move the tag to read what's on the page. The orange tabs for me represent problems in the book. Problems can be twofold. And a lot of these tabs represent multiple things. So problems could be things that I find problematic in the book that I really, I really have issues with. And you'll see in one of the books I'll show in a minute, I had a lot of orange tabs. They can also just be something that's come up that's raised a question for me. It may not necessarily be a full on problem, problem, but there's something about it that just made me want to go and actually check something out first. Then I have my yellow tabs, which are for relationships and for romance. So I mark those out if I think there's going to be something really key. The relationships could be friendships, they could be fa uh, family relationships, they could just be romantic relationships, but I use the yellow to mark those and to track things as I go through. This is particularly useful, I think, in series if you're trying to track the progression of different relationships. Green for me represents action. So those are the things that are happening in the book that are you know, really important. So I mark those out if I want to go back and, and trace those. And the blue tabs represent if anything that gives me super strong feelings. That's my color tags and that's how I use them. What I have found since doing that is, yes, it slows my reading process down because I'll deliberately stop and think, no, hang on, do I have to mark something? And quite often I'll read to the end of a scene or to the end of a chapter before I decide if I want to go back and mark something, particularly things like action or romance scenes or relationships. I wait until I finish reading the end of a, a sequence before I decide, hang on, maybe I need to go back two pages and mark that. So it's quite a deliberate choice to do those. The quotes are a little bit more immediate because I mean, they're quotes that I happen in the moment. It's something that I just stop and go, wow, that was really great. Or that was really funny. And I really want to mark that down. So I'm, I do that straight away. So it has helped in that sense that I'm a little bit more deliberate. It's also useful, I think for me, if I'm going to be talking about books and I get to my the end of the week and I forget what's happened because it was... I don't know, it was an ordinary book or it was just something that wasn't super engaging for me or whatever. I've got some points of reference to go back and I can pull up key points if I need to discuss it with someone. So it's helped in that way. And as you can see, I sort of go a little bit nuts with my tabbing. Anyway, so that is how and why I tab my books. 
Let me know in the comments, do you tab your books? Do you write in the margins? What sort of things do you do to help keep track? I know some people like to keep book notes. I, yeah, I can't stop myself long enough to start writing down notes. I just like to keep reading. So the tabs work really well for me. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.